Zdraví vás vždycky, přátelé. Chvilku jsme cestovali po Skotsku přes městečko St. Andrews, což je krásné univerzitní město a také místo nejstaršího golfového klubu na světě, St. Andrews Golf Club. A jsme ve skotské nížině v oblasti whisky, a to před palínou Kings Barnes. Je to relativně mladá palína z roku 2015, nicméně už několik lahví má. Takže co nám brání v tom, aby jsme se o ní podívali a případně něco malého ochutnali. Ale dost bylo řečí a pojďme rovnou dovnitř. A možná tam i někoho potkáme. of King's Barnes. First of all, um, this is a map of the area. Um, so we've got Fife, which is in the Lowland region. So as, as you probably know, um, typically known for its lighter, more floral, more elegant style of whiskies. And that was really what we were trying to make from the very outset. We wanted to try and achieve the same sort of style. Um, we're based all the way over here, um, about as far east in the, the region as you can get. Um, although we are part of the, the lowland region, um, it's Fike is almost becoming a, an area in its own right. You know, you've got um, a distillery up here, Eden Mill, you've got Newbury up at and you've got Daft Mill just about here, and then uh, we actually mature our spirit just outside the Glen Rothis. Um, so we're using locally grown barley, and then we're using um, water from the roof of the lower feet, so we just drill the well essentially, um, and then we're maturing it all just west of it as well, so we're really trying to kind of drive as much fife, as much provenance into it as we can, make it a really uh, a local dram, I suppose. Um, we just head here and show you a couple of bits and bobs down at the bottom. Capacity is one, one and a half tons, 1.5 tons. So once we've uh, mashed in, we start to collect the, the wort. We collect about half of what we've put on into the bed. So half of 6,000 litres goes across to fermentation. At that stage, we start to put on the second water, which is 2,700 litres of that uh, at an elevated temperature of 76 degrees. Um, we collect that as well. So what we end up with at the end of the day in our wash back is about 8,000 litres for fermentation. At that stage, what we'll do is we'll put a third water on at a much higher temperature of 86 degrees, but instead of collect that to the wash rack, we collect it to the, the sparge tank for the first water of the next day. 
So it's totally industry standard. It's very traditional. Um, trying to keep things kind of traditional as, as we can. So we use two strains of yeast in every single fermentation, uh, three and a half kilograms in each fermentation. One of them has been used for decades, it's called Anchor, and it's a good flavor producer, it's highly attenuating, so it makes lots of alcohol um, and a good kind of rounded flavor. The other one is Fermentus, and it's, um, both of them behave differently, both of them have different flavor compounds that they produce, um, and that one gives us more fruit, more kind of esters, so the two yeasts together mean that you've got something with complexity and balance. We put in about seven and a half thousand yeah. liters and seven kilograms, yeah. So uh, long fermentations over three to five days, so lots of time for the yeast to make flavor, 